think I've just talked about this before. Every time I have a coffee, if I sit and have a coffee, I don't just drink my coffee. I sit there and I think, how much did this coffee cost? What's the profit line? Who served it to me? A pretty young girl. Wow, this place is still a businessman. That's why she works here. Do they sell cake? How much is the cake? What's the margin on the cake? Is there car parking? Do they make more money if there was parking? If I were to open up right next door, could I outcompete them? This is how I analyze money in real time. This is how I got rich. I look at the ways money is moving. Money is like water, right? Rains, lands in a puddle, maybe flows down in the stream into the ocean, evaporates, and it goes back into the sky and it rains down somewhere else. That's how money works. So I analyze money in real time. And when I was analyzing plane companies, I thought, okay, that'd be hard to open. I sat with Tristan and said, okay, we're not gonna launch a plane company. We're not gonna build planes. What else would be hard to open? And Tristan said, well, probably something that always makes money. And I thought, well, what always makes money? Casinos. Here we are. Now, a lot of you at home will be sitting there thinking, well, how do you open a casino? If you've got a brain, if you're perspicacious, you'll understand that opening a casino is extremely different. The paperwork involved, who you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's not easy to open casinos because it's easy, everyone would have them. So it's down to who you know. That's what opening and opening casinos is all about. Who you know. Not what you know, who you know. And this speaks to the power of network. So when people say to me, I'll tell you, how did you get into the casino business? I say, well, I know important people. Who do you know? It's a really good test of yourself as a man. If you're watching this video, go through your phone, scroll through your phone book, and find the top five most important people in your phone. And not important to you, like, oh, she's important to me, she gives me blowjobs. I'm like, actually, they matter in the world. People would care if they died. People listen when they talk. Who are the most five, five most important people in your phone? And then add up their combined network. And you'll realize it's coming. The five most important people you know couldn't even buy your daddy. They're gonna have three million to five. Understand? What chance do you stand if you're not talking to the right A man like me, I can say I want to open casinos to start a phone call. Hey, I want to open casinos because I don't know anything about casinos. But I was on a yacht with this guy who knows about casinos. You understand? It's the Famoose. It's the Aikido. You don't know about none of this. You ain't got nobody you can call. That's why they say network is network. It's absolutely true. But how do you get a powerful network? You also need to be valuable to these people. So you can't just be a shit muncher because if you're a shit muncher, they don't answer your calls, right? So you have to provide value to receive value. And that's the lesson of this tape speech. If you want to have good friends, be a good friend. If you want to feel loved, love others. If you want to feel important, be important.